Okay, hello my lovelies. This is a great evening. A little hot out here in Arizona. Again, it's the hot dog set. Um, I'm gonna make a long one. I know lots of people have done that. I've made some short ones. They're cute both ways, but I don't normally have a great opportunity to make a long one. So I started out with the white. The card size is nine and three fourths by eight and a half. Then of course, I score it at four and a quarter. Fold it in half, and let me show you a real bone folder. Yes, this came from French Polynesia, fish bone and cow horn. All right, and then um, I kind of decided on these colors. I really like the flower and field. And so that was, I think you remember those. I had some left over. I think I'm kind of trying to use them up. So the idea is gonna be these two with some dachshunds, of course. And then I thought I'd put some sparkle on this one. The last one had no sparkle. Now this sparkle sheet is from Joann's and uh, it's an adhesive sheet and it comes in a really big size. So uh, it's lasted me a while. My fingernails are stained, by the way, not dirty. Um, so let's see how well I do covering this up because that's usually my biggest challenge in life. Yeah, I'm holding my mouth all funny. You don't get to see it, but it's pretty comical. Okay, that that might have worked. Yeah, I think we're there. So the next thing I'm going to do is to glue these beauties on. And uh, first, I'm going to put this onto the gold-colored polka dots. Get that out of the way, try to line that up. And I made them about um, a quarter inch shorter, so I have to trim a little bit here. Um, so some of that sparkle would show through. So this is a quarter inch shorter, and then of course this is a quarter inch on the length, however, or the width. Um, however, the, um, the this size is just shy of an inch. This little strip, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use this or black. I am gonna put the little feet on it because that's just cute. So I'm going to get something to stamp on. And now here's the quiz. Who am I? Laura Plattner. What's my site? Stamp and Love. Don't forget. Of course, most of you are my cousins, so I don't think you'll forget my name. All right, I had to reach over and get the black. <clears throat> this is the Memento. And basically, I'm just gonna make these cute little feet just go along. Kind of up and down, zigzaggy. For some reason, my dogs walk this way. They just have like a serpentine walk. I don't know if they're trying to hide from somebody or if they got into the agaves. Not sure. All right, so this is obviously very easy to do. My kind of stamping. Yep, except for the last one. And I'll clean that off with my chamois. Love the chamois. Okay, so that's cute. That's, that's in the running. The other choice though is to put black with the white feet. So now I'm gonna stamp it with Versamark. I haven't done a lot of this heat embossing, so I'm not sure I should be teaching the tutorial, but uh, it might be a good like, okay, well, we learned from that, don't do it that way. So Versamark is basically a glue that somehow helps the embossing powder meld onto the paper. A nice, in a nice big shiny, shiny, glittery shellac. Okay, so those are all sticky. And now, this is a little Tupperware I use. And I have some embossing paper, or embossing powder. I did get this powder at Joann's. It's called Emboss. It seemed to work. Um, 
only because I was there and wanted to try to do this. All right, so you can see I did half of it already, obviously. And the difference is when you heat it up, it, they turn brighter white and turn really cute. And so those don't come off. Uh, the problem I notice is you can shake it, tap it, and you wanna do that because I didn't realize before all these little individual ones will actually heat and pause and be shellacked onto your black paper or whatever color paper you use. So I, I am taking my fingers to try to get rid of more of it as much as I can. All right, so the next thing we do is we take a heat gun. Let me move this out of the way. I don't want that blowing all over my kitchen. Okay, so this is a Stampin' Up! heat gun. It's pretty awesome, actually. I'm gonna put it on the lower setting because this is a thin piece here at the end. And if you watch, those little things will turn white. Really bright white. Any day now. They're gonna do it, I promise. Okay, let's hold our breath, ready? It's doing it, it's doing it. See how those two from the end are turning, turning really white? Are you holding your breath still? Okay, you can exhale. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. All right, I'm gonna turn it up higher. This is exciting stuff. And ouch, and, it, and it's hot. And I'll do the rest of it off camera. So if I really want you to see it turn white, oh, there we go. See how that's turning right there? It's just the coolest. All right, that hurts my fingers only because I have neuropathy from the chemo, stupid chemo. But they say it goes away, so I'm counting on that. If not, I just have fingers that are a little bit numb. I still get to do my awesome stamping. Okay, those turned white. Fun to see, huh? Now, this is where we pretend like it's live and I say, which one do you like better? And then you guys all type in what you like better. And then my lovely assistant speaks over and says, Laura, they like the black one better. And I say, I agree, but well, maybe this way. Ooh. Um, yeah, I kind of like the black one better. Not even kidding. The white's pretty too, though. Hmm. This one's a tough one. All right, so the next thing. <laughs> I tried to make it easier, and I put the pre-stickies on uh, the dogs. And, of course, they stuck to the paper. So now I'm unsticking the little dachshund. It's always when you think you're being really smart that everything backfires. Okay, so the dachshunds. The plan is to have three of them in a row running across here. So this is how I stamp them up, usually just three of them. I won't show you that because basically it's a stamp and you go boom, boom, boom with memento, memento only. Otherwise the colors will run. So, and then the tricky part to these dogs are the first dog I tried to make a, a cream colored uh, dachshund, which does exist. They're not really dappled like that. They can have a little bit, but I thought that was cute, so I left it in. Um, but anyway, the cream color works really well if you first put down this So Saffron Light. So the first thing I would do with that is put down the whole So Saffron across all of this, and then I would go back later I'll show you just putting it over these areas. Then I would go back later and um, put the crumb cake, light crumb cake of the stamping blends. So this is crumb cake and that makes that really nice cream color there that we have here, which is perfect. I had to figure that one out. I made a few ugly looking dachshunds that were kind of mutants. Um, this is an example of how to actually make a black and tan dachshund, which is what I think of. This is my first example. Isn't that beautiful? Aren't I an artist? Uh-huh. He kind of looks like a, a bad Batman dog. 
that got washed and then dried with a blow dryer. I did this on a Joann's paper and it's actually not as good as the Stampin' Up! papers. And you can tell how much the bleeding difference is. It was pretty impressive. So I guess the Stampin' Up! papers really are worth it. Um, so what I did on this one, I clearly didn't like this color. It's not red. And um, he did look like Batman. So <laughs> I kind of adjusted. And the first thing I did then was put in this light, um, again, the uh, crumb cake, light crumb cake. So I put it on those areas. The next thing I did is I do not have the Stampin' Blends for Cinnamon Cider yet. I should get those in a couple days because now I realize after doing the horse and this that I do need them. So I do though have a blending blender pen in cases of emergency, which this was clearly an emergency. And where you take the pen and let's put a piece of paper underneath. So my kitchen countertop is not staying forever. And you can just either roll it around, but it comes out really dark when you first start and then it gets lighter as you go along. So sometimes I'll just take the end and then I'll knock it off a bit and then just kind of lightly try to brush it through quickly. And then dab it again. Now I do behind the ear because if I just put all black everywhere, you can't see the ear stick out. And I do try to stay a tiny bit away from the edge because some of these things just bleed. So you can see they're not nearly as smooth when you color as the blender, Stampin' Blends are. Um, but they work, you know, in a pinch. And, and um, you know, when you first start this, you just can't afford to buy every single pen. So they work good enough. If someone gets a handmade card and they complain about brush strokes on their hand painted dogs, and you know, maybe they won't get cards from me anymore. Okay, so that's what I did, and that's how long it took. Not too bad to make the second one. And then, I, again, don't have a black uh, pad. The only black I have in pads is the Memento. So I took, uh, the first time I took a Sharpie. That worked perfectly fine. The second time I took a pen that I already had, a Prismacolor one, and drew it in. I'd use a small one at first to go around the eyes and the nose, actually to go around the eyes here. Now the eyes are the trickiest because they're really supposed to be black, but of course you can make them all black, you can't see them. So sometimes I make them too little, too big. But I always start with too big because then I can always go back. They usually, or they're not usually, they certainly can have a little bit of a color in the chest here. So I'll make sure this one has a little bit of the red. And then I don't want to go too close to the ear because I want to be able to see that that's where the ear starts and stops. I think I went too close up there. Curve that a little bit more and then just follow along the back outline. Got to turn around here and then go up the tail. Okay, and so I'm going to fill in this little spot. I'm going to fill in over here a little bit and then I'm going to take a big fat pen and fill in the rest. So this particular Prismacolor pen comes in three different sizes, and this is a big mambo jumbo. So I'm just going to go across here and fill in the rest. And that is how you get a black and tan dachshund. 
It's a little more work, but it's it's certainly not impossible to do. Um, and uh, it just took me a couple times to figure out. Had to go on the internet, like this one. I just went around the ear a little bit better up here, honestly. Um, but I didn't put the little bit on the chest. Some dogs have it, some don't. So they're not all the same. They're all just a little bit different, as dogs are. So I'm going to go up a little bit closer on those so you can see them a little bit better. Maybe even really close for dog magnification. So again, see, I went from that to these. Uh, the first one I made, I made for someone who actually has uh, two dachshunds. They have a cream colored one and they have uh, one that's kind of like a black and tan, but it's uh, long haired. And so I just put little fringes and oh, I was in love. I want, I want my own dachshund now. Although my rescue, I think, is like a Chewini, so I guess that's close enough. All right, back to the card. So I cut these out, obviously, and I'm not going to make you watch that. But let's, let's watch me glue this down. I'll probably put on extra glue because I have used this glitter paper before, and it is not the most friendly. In fact, I'm kind of wondering why I did it. I just kind of remembered now that it wasn't friendly and you can't use tape, it will not work with tape. All right, and get that cleaned off. Oh, I need to cut that before I put it down. Well, let's all hope that was reasonably straight. I should also tell my cousins, I'm not sure. They just called about the house that I was going to buy in Pittsfield. <sighs> and I still need more paperwork. And the woman who's there is still staying in it. She's refusing to leave. So I really hope I don't have like a squatter <laughs> because I really want to see all my relatives this summer. So yes, I am crying. All right, I'm gonna do The old red one, the last, it's gonna be here. And I'll put the black and tan one here. And then the cream one here. Probably could have put them a little bit together. And what I did for my friend's mom is I took it on this stamp set also has a get well soon. So I stamped get well soon. I double stamped it in the polished pink and the, the black. And they also have a little card here with a heart. So I put that on and then I sewed it because I thought it was really cute. I'm trying to use it like a flag. So I sewed it and I thought the dog could be carrying it with a stick hanging out of her mouth. We're gonna make her a girl. So in fact, let's make her a girl now. I've got the polished pink here and I've got one of the little bows. I'm gonna put it in her ear. Um, they do actually have cute collars that you can put around them like that. And had I planned better, I would have put that on her actually. But since I already cut it out, it's too late. She's getting a bow. Let's see if I can stamp under pressure. I think I'm kidding, I'm really not. <laughs> yes, I know I have a little stamp and love channel on YouTube, but I think the actual stamping is the hardest part. Okay, so a little bow right on top of her ear. Oh yeah, that's cute. That worked. Okay. I do like to make that a little bit more pronounced, so we're going to use the stamp and blends and just add a little bit more. This is the light polished pink. Make this a little bit thicker. All right, maybe too thick, maybe not. Anyway, there it is. Okay, so the tricky part is, I actually took another stamp set that had a clothesline in it to um, do the stick coming out of her mouth. 
I made it kind of go down and then across. This time I'm just going to draw it and come back with with a pen. Let's go a little closer on that. So I drew it, then I'm going to come back with this pen. I'm going to turn it sideways because it's going to be hard for me to write that way. And if you do have the uh, All for Baby stamp set, that clothesline works pretty well, actually. But of course, you don't want to buy the clothesline just to draw a little line, because it does not have to be perfect. Okay, that's my line, and it is, it is not perfect. Ah, uh, that's cute. Okay, I do like this lifted up. <clears throat> so, let's lift it up here. Bring that back out again. I think I Love You would be really cute. Um, oh gosh, I have Hot Dog, It's Your Birthday. Um, any of those little sayings would be cute. But this is the one I have ready and sewn for you, so there it is. And then I'll take a little glue and stick those down. Or I can always use those little um, seals. Let me get one of those, the little glue dots. I honestly have no recollection of how I did this for the other card. Hmm. Well, somehow I got them down. So I'll put one here. And by the way, when I went to get one of these, I found a scorpion. Yep, lovely, lovely Scottsdale, Arizona. And I live by the McDowell Mountains and we have scorpions. Okay, let's get some scissors to cut those off. And stick out, okay. So far, so good. Everybody with me? Okay, I'm gonna take a break and um, show you that now I'm off chemo. I'm gonna try to drink a bottle, not a bottle of wine, open one of my bottles of wine. So this one is the Terraces, a Cabernet Sauvignon. I went with my younger brother and his wife, Gwen, to Napa Valley. And it's yummy, I can't drink much of it. And I certainly couldn't drink it now, otherwise we'd really be having some interesting card stamping um but it's fun and it reminds me of the good times it's actually like a little wine club i joined and then i canceled it but uh they just keep sending it to me i'm sure they're charging my credit card as well i need to check that all right so i assumed you look at the white one and then you looked at the black one and are we all in agreement that we like the black all right the crowd's in agreement we're going with black kind of i think is fancy when you have all the sparkles on it. I don't know, that's me. I love sparkles sometimes, at least on cards. I don't really wear sparkles much. <laughs> okay, let's go there to me. Let's go there to me. All right. I think that's cute. I love the little dogs in a row. And I read about dachshunds. There are so many different colors. They even have brindle, um, which is uh, kind of like an Australian Shepherd with that Merlin gene. And they look like little dachshund shaped Australian Shepherd coats. All right, so I stamped this on the inside because I can't tell you how many times I've messed up a perfectly beautiful card by stamping the inside at the end of these videos, trying to finish it because everybody likes fast YouTube and I mess it up. So I did that beforehand. I'm going to use the bones because they're cute. And this is all about cute. I don't know where my little tiny stamping block went to. And since it's clear, I can't see it. 
<laughs> Grr. So we'll use the bigger one. Oh, this is really going to be challenging for me. Maybe I should have a sip of that wine. Can I do it with a big stamp block? Dun, dun, dun. I'm still frantically looking around with my eyes to see if I can find it. All right. No finding it, so here we go. I'm going to do it sort of like the shoes. The shoes. The paws. Good Lord. slowly I stamp. <laughs> it's like I'm doing brain surgery. Be careful. You might take out their motor cortex. Nurse, hand me a clamp. making our way across so far now um stampy mishaps did i just jinx myself um, probably all right don't go yet i just added the high that is super cute i suggest you do that thank you bye-bye